Howdy fellas! Well, the developers have finally decided to get moving and instead of releasing a 30 megabyte joke, they've released one of the largest CS2 updates, weighing 2.3 gigabytes with many changes and CS2 leaks. And the main thing, in CS2 they added the left hand. Yes, the main thing in this CS2 update is the return of the left hand. Since the game's release, the community has been begging developers to add this option and now, after just a year, it's finally here. Now you can dynamically change the position of your hands in-game by pressing a key. By default, the hand switch is bound to the H key, and if you click it pretty fast, you get a sprint animation so you can run like Forrest Gump. The second great news is that developers have fixed the lobby and now we have the full ability to launch custom to maps with friends. I think many, just like me, are already tired of the default maps and the opportunity to have fun with friends, for example, in Skyrim or Train, is a breath of fresh air. And here's a real big thing for all timers like me. How do you do, fellow kids? The legendary Dust2 has been returned to the main map pool of CS2, replacing Overpass. Viva Gabe, Viva Gabe! But if the return of Dust2 is really cool, then why remove Overpass, which is played quite well? That's unclear. They should have removed Inferno, which has the worst statistics, not only overall, but also in tournaments. But, well, it is what it is. In this CS2 update, they brought back the Overwatch. An interesting decision considering that just a few days ago demos didn't work properly. This won't get rid of all the cheaters, of course, but at least it will reduce the heat from their presence. The Overwatch system itself remained unchanged. It's a direct copy-paste from CSGO, and no additional functions were added in this CS2 update. Of course, in the code strings, which data miners usually dig through, there are mentions of VACnet and other things like aimbot detection, wall hack, speed hack, and griefing. But it's not clear yet whether the system detects them itself or it's just a category for distributing verdicts. But developers didn't give any comments on who will get Overwatch and from what rank it will be available. Many useful functions have been added to the shop menu. Now you can see the minimum amount of money you will get in the next round, which makes it easier to control the economy. What's cool is that you can now see the weapons your teammates dropped and pick them up directly from the menu. New icons have been added to the kill feed and table. In the table, we can now see the robot's head, which naturally reflects the bot. And in the kill feed, when killing a player in midair, wings will appear next to the weapon icon. Shout out to Simple. A targeting grid has been added for grenades, making it way easier to do different throws. By the way, don't forget that we release shorts in our YouTube channel with the most useful ones in CS2. The monetary reward for kills have also changed. Now you'll get 100 for killing with Zeus, with CZ75 you'll get 300, and with XM you'll get 600 instead of 900. In the inventory inspection menu, information about skinware has been added. Leaks of this function have been floating around for a long time, but now it's finally have been released. It's pretty expected, given the size of the update, all the main maps Baggage, Inferno, Overpass, Nuke, Vertigo, Mirage and Office have been fixed. The most significant change is the removal of the roof and the part of the house on the Inferno map. All the rest are minor changes. To keep up with the tradition, let's see what's going on in the Chinese Counter-Strike. We'd love to have such madness in the premiere. Now hit the like button, subscribe, follow us on every social media and watch me streaming on Twitch. That's it for now folks, I should get going.